Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we will be discussing another very important question from the CSR Net 2020 exam. So this will be the question we will consider from the atomic and molecular physics part. And it is based on a very, very, very important concept of atomic and molecular physics. I will be explaining all the steps you have to take to solve this question and how you can even prepare this related concept to the question. We will be talking about that point too. But before starting the discussion about the question and its answer, let me just tell you about one more important thing that is if you want to attend the regular life classes by the top educators and uh, you think you need the guidance by the top educators to prepare for your upcoming exam, then guys, in that case, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Because after taking the subscription, you will be able to attend the live classes by the top educators as well as uh, there are many other benefits which you will get and which will help you to get ready for your upcoming exam to have a good command on many important concepts and along with that you will get the confidence about your exam preparation too. So uh, if I'm going to talk about the one very important thing here. So one offer is going on on Unacademy Plus and Unacademy Iconic subscription which is just valid till 31st July. So now very less time is there. If you want to get this offer then in that case you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription either for the 6 months or for the 12 months because you can see if you will be taking the 6 month subscription you will get 1 month extra and if you will be taking the 12 month subscription you will get the 2 months extra as per this offer and along with the offer by using and by applying the referral code which is Anjali Arora as mentioned here on the screen no space in between spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it you can write every alphabet in the capital letter so by using and by applying this referral code, you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount as well. Done. So guys, now this was one of the important updates regarding the Unacademy plus subscription and the Unacademy plus courses if I will be talking about that. So uh, every week new courses are going to start on Unacademy plus. Every week we are going to have the new batches done. So in that case, if you will be taking the Unacademy Plus or Iconic subscription right now, you will be able to get uh, like many new courses. You can join them. You can start your preparation and in very less time, you can prepare very well for your upcoming exam. So this is how everything will help you in your preparation. And if I'm going to talk about the difference between the Plus and Iconic subscription. So in Iconic subscription, you get more and more and more benefits. In Plus subscription, you mainly get the live classes, the courses, and uh, this is how the test will be there. Okay, the mock test. But in Iconic, personal coach, interview preparation, study material, like all of those things will even be there. Now we can start the discussion about the question we are going to consider in this session today. So guys, the question is the absorption lines arising from pure rotational effects of HCl are observed at 83.03 cm inverse, then 103.73 cm inverse, then 124.30 cm inverse, 145.03 cm inverse and 165.51 cm inverse. So the absorption lines are arising okay, uh, at these values. Done. Next thing, the moment of inertia of HCl molecule is, this is what you need to find. So guys, if you will be preparing the pure rotational spectra topic from the atomic and molecular physics part, you will find this question very easy after knowing about the formula and the concepts based on that particular topic that's going to be very simple and easy topic to prepare okay and you're very important too because you can expect the questions from this section again in your upcoming net exam gate exam and even in other similar exams so it's a very important topic and you should go through you should prepare that topic too if you want me to provide you the discussion and the most important points the formulae for this particular topic tell me about it i will share it in upcoming videos okay you can mention that in the comment section now what are the things we need to observe here you can see that the absorption lines okay 
which are arising from which the pure rotational spectra so we can observe them at these values okay you can see the unit of the values have been given as centimeter inverse centimeter inverse centimeter inverse so what it is representing from the unit simply you can get it is what it is the wave number clear wave number unit has been given there next point what is the separation between the two consecutive absorption lines in this case if you will find that see one absorption line you are as a, uh, you are observing here another 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 one is here so if you have to find the separation between the uh, lines clear in that case what you will do you will subtract the 83.03 from 103.07 clear uh, it's 73 sorry so in this case you should know one more fact from the pure rotational spectra topic what is that the separation between the two consecutive absorption lines in the pure rotational spectra will be equal to 2b will be equal to 2b and what will be that value it's 103.73 for the first two if i'm going to find it minus it's going to be 83.03 then 83.03 if you will find the difference what you will get 3 minus 3 0 7 minus 0 7 and that's gonna be 3 minus 3 0 then uh, it's gonna be 2 so you are getting 20.70 centimeter inverse clear that 2b is the separation where b is the rotational constant when you will go through the topic discussion part you will get this thing there that between the two absor absorption line what can be the separation that will be 2b okay so that's why we are considering the separation 2b but if i will be finding the separation between these two lines then what will happen it will be 124.30 minus 103.73 so let's write the another 2b value what it will be it will be 124.30 centimeter inverse minus it's going to be 103.73 centimeter inverse clear so 10 minus 3 will be what it will be 7 then 12 minus 7 will be what it will be 5 point 3 minus 3 will be what 0 and from here you will be having to simply 2 so 20.57 is this separation same for both both the separations are the same no there is some difference so let's just check out for the next one next one will be what the separation between these two lines so it will be 145.03 145.03 minus it's gonna be 124.30 124.30 then equal to what you will get from here 3 7 okay 4 minus 4 0 and 4 minus 2 that's gonna be 2 20.73 centimeter inverse you can see again it's a little bit different value you have got clear so it's not same it's again different if you will be finding the separation for the next one what you will get from there let's just check it out so it's gonna be 165.51 done you can find the separation too it will be what 165.51 if you want you can take these values or you have to find all of them like the separation it's better okay because it will give you more accurate answer then so 165.51 165.51 minus it's gonna be 145.03 and let's just find the separation it's gonna be 10 minus 3 7 uh, so it's gonna be 4 here then 4 then you will have 0 then you will have 2 20.44 centimeter inverse you have got now what you have to do you have to find the average separation so average separation means what it will be the 2b which is equal to what the sum of all the values divided by 4 so add all the values together 7 3 10 10 4 14 carry 1 you will have 7 7 14 14 4 18 18 and then 1 19 19 and 5 that's gonna be 24 okay 2 here so you will be writing point 0.2 and 4 6 7 8 then 82.44 when you will be just dividing it what you will get 2 okay one, uh, and then let's say you will have this 
then this and this so 20.61 approximate value you will be getting from here and that is centimeter inverse done next point what will be the b value you will have from here that will be 10.3 okay uh, and 5 approx clear and this is centimeter inverse so approximate value i have taken here now next point if i will be considering it into meters so what will happen you know 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter so 1 centimeter inverse is equal to what 100 meter inverse so if you will be writing it into meter inverse you have to multiply it with the 100 clear so in this case what will happen you will have 1035 meter inverse this is what you will have next point since you want to find the moment of inertia and what was the reason why we have to take this average because if you will be checking it out you are not having the same separation between all the two consecutive absorption lines so that's why you have to take the separation otherwise you can simply uh, just see if the separation will be same then in that case you will use that value and it will be equal to 2b okay there you will not have to take any such kind of steps now after this your main aim is to find the moment of inertia you are having the separation between the absorption lines and you want to find the moment of inertia so what you can do if you will prepare the topic and if you have already prepared it you will be familiar with this thing that the rotational constant b is equal to h upon 8 pi squared ic where i is the moment of inertia and you can simply write this as h cut upon that h cut means h upon 2 pi okay so h upon 2 pi will be there you can write it simply 4 pi ic because you know h cut upon 4 pi ic if you will write uh, this is h upon 2 pi will be involved in that part h cut so you will get the same expression back but you want to find the moment of inertia so i will be h cut upon this formula is very important h cut upon okay what will be there a 4 pi okay b and then c so i and b cross multiplied together now if i will be considering the h cut upon 2 pi c the first term then i will be having here into 1 upon 2b okay 1 upon 2b because h cut is what h cut is h upon 2 pi so that you have already considered and 2 pi c you are writing here reason behind it because they have already given you h cut upon 2 pi c value so it will give you 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 44 kg and meter okay so 5.6 into 10 to the power minus 44 this is the value you will have here clear and here you can do one more thing instead of uh, dividing this value by 2 you can keep it 2b and you can put this value directly there or if you have found the b value here you can now put this value and keep the 2 so 1035 2 into 1035 and after simplification what you will get from here you will get a value which will be approximately closer to 2 point okay 7 into 10 to the power minus 47 kg meter square if you will see this value will be closer to which one it will be closer to option b and that is your right answer you can even check it out that are you getting it exactly same or the calculation after doing the calculation are you getting something else okay and that's how you can decide your final answer and you can see guys the question is quite easy we didn't consider something uh, uh, which is going to be very much in depth of the topic and which is just uh, something which is very much different here done we have just taken the normal steps and we have just used one simple formula so if you know about the topic you will simply be able to solve any such type of question so even the five marks questions are going to be quite easy and quite simple and yeah if you want the pure rotational spectral discussion in upcoming classes in upcoming videos which i will upload on this channel that is mission net physics exam you can surely mention it in the comments we will try to have that session too Another important thing, if you are new on this channel, what you can do, you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and also click on the bell icon so that you will get the notification 
about the new videos which I will upload on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. So guys, I hope each and everything will be clear to all of you and your right answer for this question is option B. Clear? We will be having more question discussion and more concepts we will consider in this manner in upcoming uh, videos too. So if you are having any suggestion, you can even mention that in the comment section. As I provided you the information about this offer which is going on on Unacademy Plus and Unacademy Iconic subscription. If you want to grab this offer, you can take the subscription today and you can start your preparation under the guidance of top educators. And also use and apply the referral code which is Anjali Arora as mentioned here on the screen. So by using and by applying this referral code, you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. No space in between, spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it and get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you.